India's saris come in every shape, size and colour. For many though, the most sought after are made from pure silk. Yours, for around $100. Very understated, but very elegant. So it's an ideal uh, kind of a fibre for a working woman to, you know, probably wear to office or an informal party. Far away from the glitz and glamour of Delhi's boutiques, this is where it all starts, deep in the East Indian countryside. It can take up to 700 silkworm cocoons to make one sari. And for years, villagers here have reared the worms to produce that coveted silk. The leaves are almost all eaten now, so now I have to transfer the worms to another tree. If they have to get down to feed themselves, some other animals will eat them. It's know-how that's been handed down from generation to generation. Now new technology is helping to test the worms for diseases, enabling the farmers to become more productive. But with the changing of the environmental condition, the production of silkworm is decreasing day by day, and the traditional system is not working. The results of the new, more scientific approach have been revolutionary. Five years ago, Munia struggled to feed her two children. Today, after taking up silkworm farming, she owns a laptop, a TV, and earns around 700 US dollars a year. Since we started to keep the silkworms, we've been able to build a good house. We wear good clothes, and the kids are also going to school. The silk trade provides a living for around 10,000 families in East Bihar state. And while the good times roll thanks to new techniques, perhaps many more will join them in the months and years ahead.